Hello, hello, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and show you 151+. Plus. Uh, and if I die on this run, uh, I may do another with my my red mage. Or if I if I die too soon into the recording, like if it's... Uh, if, you know, but, but actually, 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 before we go in, before we go deeper, uh, let me go and get some... Um, Antidotes and echo drops and spine drops and things like that. Because uh, if I don't, uh, I'll wish that I had them. I'll wish that I had. Let's see, let's go back to Gridania. You, there's an apothecary in every major city that you can buy normal quality. Um, potions, I guess you'd just call them still. But antidotes and, and other remedies from. And, uh. Obviously, uh. If I thought things through, I would just be starting the episode here. But I didn't, so. Load times, load times, loady, loady times. I need the apothecary. I don't know which... I am least familiar with the market area in Gridania. I mean, all places are relatively the same, but, uh... Where's the apothecary? The fuck? Do they name him differently in Gridania for some reason? Okay, I just didn't look hard enough. Yeah, uh, you just, you know, buy like a full stack of them. Antidotes, uh, eye drops, echo drops, and uh, maybe not a full stack of spine drops, because 30k is an awful lot for something I'm not going to be using that much. Uh, psh, let's get 25. That all seems reasonable. And let's clear some inventory up. Just regular potions can go. So that, and that, and that, and that. That. Okay. And you can just put, you know. Antidotes are probably the ones you'll use the most. Echo drops aren't that useful for Dark Knight, but if you do step on a silencing trap, you can still use your... You should still be able to use your abilities that are classified as magic, so Unmend and um, Unleash, I guess. Those are spells, so... Uh, in lieu of not being able to attack at all, and you'd be able to attack. And let's see, I got the... Uh, and spine drops, okay. So, we've got a cavalcade of... Uh, things, if we get that far. Not, not all of these are going to apply to the next floor set, by the way. I'm just showing you that, you know, this is the stuff you want to pick up and take with you. Uh... Especially solo. Uh, this stuff is also useful when you're not solo, but it's uh, just as useful Let's 
see. And let's see which which potion this puts on cooldown. Oh, oh, that's not good. Okay, so yeah, those those put your sustaining potions on cooldown. So, uh, use these if if HP isn't your concern. Like if you're uh, if you're trying like if you're after battle. Oh my, that's that's actually really bad. I might actually. I might actually take those off the bar. Ooh. 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 Woof. Woof, woof, woof. I'll keep the spine drops because those could be the meaning of life or death between, uh, between things. You see, look at that unique portrait there. Here we go. I'm going to use a raising commander just, just to try to beat, the, actually beat this floor set. Uh, obviously, we spent about five minutes, maybe a little more than five minutes, getting things in town. So, uh, and I'll risk, I'll risk an alteration commander just because. Let's see, what does the palace have for us today? Oh, Strength Bowmander, how nice of them. We need to build those back up. Palace Defy ought to not be that, that interesting. Now see, this four set isn't that much stronger than the last four set in terms of how hard things hit. Um, but uh, it's hard enough. And as you can see, it's like this, you know, I'd say a non-Euclidean space, but, uh, oh, I, everything's made out of cubes and, and normal ge geometric shapes because it was, you know, made by a computer. Uh, palace puddings are casters. They'll do gold tongue just like... Uh, the older plans, and they'll cleave you with a morphic flail. Uh, so they're pretty, pretty hard hitters. Uh, basically, your sustaining potion amount uh, will also depend on how far you get. If you run out of sustaining potions, I'm not saying it's like guaranteed over, but it's pretty much over. Like, you can't live down here, even on tank, without sustaining potions. It's just not a thing. And you're going to need one sustaining potion at, at minimum. Probably more like two or three uh, to to actually win fights. Or, like, per fight. So, that's uh, dear. Yeah, that's a witching. Kill the Mimic. See how hard he's hitting? And yeah, he's critting. So whatever that crit update was, doesn't apply here. And they're both in. Of course. Come on, you bastard, dude. As far as the bosses go for these four sets, though, they're just stronger versions of, um... Oh, that was not what I meant to do. But they're just stronger versions of, uh... Oops, that was also not what I meant to do. They're stronger versions of the 451 to, uh, to 90 bosses. So, as far as mechanics go for bosses, you've already seen it all. They're just, they hit harder and they're more dangerous, they have more HP. And really, the challenge is, is really more getting to them than it is beating them. Although, 
the 190 boss and the 180 boss. Actually, all of them are not to be underestimated. They all hit very hard. Um, it's just a thing. I hate caster mobs. I hate them, I hate them, I hate them. There's a version of these in Heaven on High that do uh, Golden Tongue. And their particular brand of Golden Tongue and Heaven on High buffs their magic damage by like 80% or some ridiculous shit. So if they get Golden Tongue off, like, you're dead. Like, unless you can kill them, you know, like within one stun timer or something. As far as how it looks down here, doesn't it look pretty cool? I think it does. Look, there's the uh, Cursed Horde. Of course, we're going to have to kill our way through this entire room before we go step on it. But, such is life. You'll also note that, you know, this is different as far as you can see into other rooms. Uh, instead of having, you know, cavern walls blocking your sight. One advantage they give you down when you're this deep is you can watch uh, the paths and you can see where the um, patrolling monsters are coming from. So that's something that's very nice. You know, I said I wouldn't talk down here, but... This force, this particular floor is not so bad. Although we're already pretty much, we've already used all the time. We haven't even unlocked the rune of release, and we've already used all the time that we can allocate per floor. We've already used six minutes, pretty much. Disgusting. Now let's see if we step on a lure trap. Or any trap. That's the risk you gotta take when you're getting the horde. You have the very real chance of stepping on traps. And you may have noticed that I I walk around the edge of rooms earlier in the dungeon to um, help avoid traps. It's not that traps can't be on the very outer edge of a room. Um, well, the, for the most part they can't be. Uh, but they can be at the very edge of a room, at like the entrance of the room. So, you know, sometimes people say that walking around the edges is worthless. It's not. As you can see, we're already running into problems with time. So, uh, we really can't lollygag. And at some point, we probably will have to use a commander or two just to speed things up. Oh, we were given a buff. How about that? More HP. That's nice. Oh, and a strength commander. Well, since we're capped out on those, we might as well... Uh, try to speed things up a little bit. Well, do you cap out on a Fomander? It's up to you. You can either just hold them in reserve and not use them, uh, or you can make it so that, you know, the next time you find one, you know, the box just opens. And you don't have to worry about saying, oh, that's a strength, and then someone use one, and stuff like that. Yeah. Because there's two ways to view it. You can view it as you're trying to get the most time out of the buffs uh, by waiting to, uh, by holding one in reserve and waiting. Um, or you can view it as uh, you're trying to speed things up. You're trying to make up or make up for lost time by um, by just going ahead and using one. 
when you get to three. And both trains of thought are valid trains of thought. So the one where you withhold Pomanders, that one is more is a more useful train of thought for a group of people rather than for solo. Because um, since you have you know four times the DPS basically, um, you know depending on what you decide to bring, the uh, you know. You don't have to stress about time as much. And you might stress more about, you know, uh, using actual Pomanders to to make sure everyone's having fun and doing bigger numbers and uh, killing things quickly. I sometimes joke that uh, the building structures, the ruins down here, are, like covered in magical cocaine. But it looks like, you know, snow that's been like mixed into a waterfall or something. It's sort of, it's, it's very abstract, I guess. like. You know, no place like this could ever actually exist. But you can say that about a lot of locations in Final Fantasy XIV. Or in any fantasy setting. <laughs> Looks like that alteration we used earlier got us Mimics. Uh, we'll use another one, see if we get Piccamo Yoys. Come on, you bastard, turn around. There's that patrolling monster up there. Thank you. Looks like we won't have to deal with him, though. Also, something to be aware of, if you look up a guide, um, you know, you can see which floors are going to debuff you. So sometimes it's a good idea to use Pomanders before you go up a floor, because um, if you get a floor that doesn't let you use items, then the only Pomander you can use is Serenity. If you don't have any Serenity Pomanders, then you're screwed, because you won't be able to use Sustaining Potions either. So, you know, if you know you're going to get a debuff floor and you don't have any Serenity Pomanders, then you want to go ahead and Steal and Strength up you know, maybe even Rage. Of course, using a Rage before you floor up is risky for two reasons. One, you're cutting down on the timer of the Rage Commander. Two, uh, if you get a floor that debuffs you with uh, knockback effect disabled, uh, that means that uh, the Rage Commander is useless. The uh, Manticore won't be able to kill anything without using a Serenity to debuff that effect, so just something to keep in mind. You also notice these are reskinned or larger uh, versions of the enemies we fought in 51 to 60. All right, like instead of white gremlins, we got red gremlins. We still have these pots. The pots are bigger and they spin faster than the ones in 51 to 60. Um, which is like an odd choice, like to try to make them look different. I mean, it's obviously the same exact monster. As, as far as the pot goes. Uh, the red gremlin I can appreciate. That's the tried and trusted standard of palette swaps, basically. So, you know, different enough. Different color, it's different enough. Hey, look, we got pick em But, of course, it's only one monster. 
Boo! Boo! Pick up my yoy! Boo! It's okay though, because he counts as a kill. And he has a higher chance of dropping treasure chests that have uh, good commanders in them, like Affluence or Strength and Steel. We just got Strength and Steel, so maybe after we. Uh, after we. When we get to the, the rune, or the. Uh, yeah, the rune of transfer or whatever, we'll use those before we go up. Also, we haven't seen it very often. We've seen it like once or twice. But you can get floors that don't allow you to use abilities. Those floors are really bad because they cut your damage in half for the most part. Because you can't, like, when you get a no ability floor, you can't use Plunge, you can't use Edge or Flood of Darkness, you can't use, uh, you can't use your Interrupts, you can't use any of your tank cooldowns. It's real bad news bears, you know? So... Oh, look! I was just talking about you. At least we get sight. On floors like this, uh, I opt to use Serenity just because. Also, I should have used that... Uh, I should have used the Intuition on the floor that I found the Horde on because... Um, you can find a Horde on like the very next floor sometimes. I don't remember the, the rate, but the Horde has like a random chance to spawn. Uh, I think it's like a 33% chance to spawn every four, for the most part. So, uh, you know, if you have an intuition, um, that's like a 30% chance to, to know that you can get the Horde. of Cloud's enemies are all the way down here for some reason. Although I guess the Merolith is really just like some sort of weird version, weird old version of a golem. I mean, they do kind of look like cooler golems, don't they? Although they also look sort of like more fragile golems. Not, let's not open that chest, let's kill this Merolith. Intuition, how about that? Let's see, can I ignore the silver? Oh hey, strength bow mender, that's very welcome. Also try to keep in mind when you use a safety or a sight that you can now run through the center of rooms with, with no fear. Because that'll save you a few seconds. And the seconds will add up to minutes. And like I said before, every minute counts. Oops, don't need to open that. That's the shitty thing about tab targeting sometimes. Actually, all the time. And on controller, there's no way for you to just click things. So. Really annoying. You know, considering we're super duper deep underground, it's really bright down here. I almost wonder with the events that we've been told about on the first, if this layer of Palace of the Dead doesn't exist on the first, like in in the, the, the areas of land that are being flooded by light or whatever. Cause, I mean, how would you portray a flood of light? Like, wouldn't it just be I like white water or something? Like bright shining water? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. 
let's see. Let's risk another alteration just to get rid of them. Because if it's pick up my yois, you know, that saves time. If it's not, well, there's contingency plans for mimics. As you can see, these gargoyles, uh, when they're when they're just prone, they try to snipe you with that big wide AOE. And AOEs are only getting more and more ridiculously powerful. So you want to be careful with that. Usually, the monsters that try to snipe you aren't that much of a threat, but later on, oh boy. Because <laughs> one, you're always having to dodge their snipes, but two, later on, like they're just the types of monsters that they have that are going to be trying to snipe you are monsters that you don't want to fuck with. Whereas these gargoyles are just sort of like bitch boys. But. Yeah, such is life. Sight Pomander, that's very welcome. Sight is actually my favorite Pomander because it gives you the most tactical ability. It lets you know what traps are on the ground if you can if you learn their symbols. And the ones you can use against enemies are very useful. Like landmines and silencing traps and things. Uh Of course, on Dark Knight, silencing traps are a little less useful than they are on Red Mage. Uh, because, you know, on Red Mage, you can Echo Drops yourself and then be fine. But on Dark Knight, you know, uh, you won't be fine. So. That's the skinny. That's the long and short. But, what do you think about how it looks down here? You should tell me in the comments below. Uh, was the Ford on this floor? No, we don't have a, we don't have a Ford marker. Also, something to keep in mind is when you find the accursed Ford, in order to actually get the bags, you have to beat the boss. You have to actually beat the floor set. You can't just find the horde and then die, you know? So, you know, that's a thing. Let's go ahead and use a site just because. I want to see what we're dealing with. If we have any traps in the room with the horde, you know? Because it's entirely possible for the horde to occupy the same space as a trap. Not to mention the risk you run by running over um, the uh, you know the ground with with that could possibly be trapped. Ice spikes are annoying as hell. If you can interrupt that cast, these imps can both be in be silenced and stunned, so uh, try to keep an eye out for that, that stupid freaking 
ice spikes. We've made up for lost time, but it will be really easy to fall behind again. So never lose your intensity. Uh, if you know that you might possibly have to AFK for anything and you're not in a group, then don't do, don't try solo run to Palace of the Dead. It's something you have to sort of take seriously. Let's see, we can just wait for that to wear off. Better to wait now than lose the time between skills for for longer. That is a luring trap. It's like a weird mutated fleur de lis with like a bar through it. Son of a bitch. Well, at least it's only one. Nope, nope, none of that shit here, governor. And at least I have home manor buffs, guys. I wish that you could stun Mimics as well as silence them. I think it's kind of ridiculous that you, you can only only silence them once they're not brown anymore. And we were kind of lucky that that first patrolling Marilith didn't decide to kick our ass in. Also, something to be aware of with traps is uh, their 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 trigger for stepping on them is actually very, very, very slightly wider than the uh, trap icon itself. So uh, give them a significantly wide berth. Like you don't need to like be like half the room away, but. You really don't want to uh, put yourself at risk. Hey look, there's a Soul Flare back there. Deep Palace Soul Flares. I don't remember if they do anything significant other than normal Soul Flare abilities. But they, they, to me, they feel like they're right at home down here. Like they, they blend in with the place, so. want to be careful with AoEs uh, because especially like line AoEs like Gersko Ghoul and stuff but also stuff like on Red Mage like Contra 6 Day and what, whatnot or whatever or however you say it uh, because you don't want to like be in such a rush to deal damage that you clip something and then as a result have to you know use a commander or die like See that's not so bad as long as the game is being kind to us with commanders. But you know, the second we run out, it's just not gonna be good for us. Another intuition. Oh, wait, didn't we already pick it up? We already picked up the horde, didn't we? Or, oh no, I didn't. Uh, uh, is that gonna waste the intuition?
after all that trouble to spawn the box, I didn't even pick it up. I wasted valuable seconds. Uh oh, we've been debuffed. Can I debuff this suit? Okay, that's not too bad. Definitely not too bad at all. We got a steal as well. I highly recommend, uh, even if it's not your first time down, to uh, look up the guide for the floor sets you're on and, and keep it open on like a laptop or your phone right beside you so you can reference things uh, as you're fighting. Because, you know, you don't, you don't want to like think, oh, that, this will be an easy thing to fight, and then fight it and then die. You know? Fucking casters, man! But to be perfectly honest, on tank, uh, most things in here really aren't that dangerous to you. Even deep down, it's just you do so much less damage that uh, you know you you still have time concerns. So if you can't beat the clock, then you can't beat you know the game. So I'm guessing the horde is all the way back the other way. So that's the kind of thing, like, the horde can actually cause you, cost you winning. Like, if you ever use the horde, and it's like in a room that has like, 10 monsters in it, just ignore it, unless you have to go through that room. Just ignore it, and go up. Because, like I said, you can't get the horde, unless you, uh... Unless you win, so. Whoa! This guy's gonna paralyze me, I think. I'm pretty sure he has a paralysis move that he just does. But he can be stunned. So that helps a little bit. I think basically his rotation goes Abyssal Swing, Paralyzed Move, Abyssal Swing, Paralyzed Move. I think. Might be thinking of uh, another reskin of him deeper down. Let's go see if we can't get this horde real quick. Or at least find out where it's at. Oh, there it is. Okay. So we'll kill that Mind Flayer, and then we'll risk stepping into the room. Uh, because we have we have Pomanders that we can do stuff with. So... If we, like, trigger a Lure Trap or something, uh, you know, we'll be fine. <sighs> Hopefully this guy triggers the thing so we can go up. Because we're still, we're still riding the clock here. Like we're really, we really are. We're riding the clock. Rain touch, you son of a bitch! How dare you gain HP back when you know that I'm, I have to, I have a time limit to kill you in. Freaking Uber. Baby, come on. Alright, hopefully nothing else has spawned by the, uh... By the Rune of Passage. And I guess we can use a Steel before we go up. And we might as well use our last Intuition, because... 
Honestly, we might not even beat the floor set, so we might as well go for broke. And also, uh, <laughs> in the future floor sets, like, I don't think... Like, when you're solo, you being solo really isn't uh, a happy way to farm Night Pegasus Whistle. So, um, if you're going to farm Night Pegasus Whistles, you might as well form a static for that, because, you know, it's, it's a thing. Come on, you dumb bastard. I hate casters so much. Spikes already. Oh, I was I was given slow anyway, just just by being near him. Like what the fuck? Ice spikes are supposed to be a retaliatory thing. I also hate the fact that in like apparently in World of Warcraft, they call being weighted down so you move more slowly. They call that being slow instead of your attack speed. In Final Fantasy, slow has always been related to attack speed and number of attacks. So when a when a sometimes a WoW player will be like, "Oh, I got slowed," what they mean is I got heavied. It, it, it drives me batty. In fact, a lot of WoW terms drive me batty, like people calling their characters tunes. Um, People referring to, you know, certain bosses in Final Fantasy XIV being similar to bosses in WoW. Uh, calling tells, whispers, uh, you know, that sort of thing. As you may have noticed, I'm not, I'm not exactly hard to drive, drive up the wall. I didn't d develop any slow resistance. Of course not. Of course not. At least slow doesn't affect your off -world. That would be fucking ridiculous. At this point, I'd actually rather fight the Soul Flare because even though they're also annoying casters, they don't have any slows. Although, if you get caught in Mind Blast, they'll par paralyze you, I think. Normally, it paralyzes you anyway. Uh, who knows? Maybe this deep, it just instantly kills you, and I've never seen that. <laughs> Have to look it up.
Get away from the trap, please. I interrupted his thing, but I didn't interrupt ice spikes. That's so dumb! Like, why? Ice spikes is supposed to be retaliatory. I guess you could look at it as a way to give your hands a break, but I don't really want to give my hands a break because, you know, I... Oh, it's Void Blizzard 2 is what's slowing me, not the Ice Spikes. Okay, whatever. He's got two methods to slow him. So if you strike him while he's got Ice Spikes up, and uh, Void Blizzard 2. Come on! Get over here. Need the freaking Scorpion Chain. I'm just going to use a Rage Commander uh, to, to basically skip the floor. Uh, because otherwise we're not going to have enough time to kill the boss. The boss doesn't... He's just a, a, a reskin, stronger version of the Floor 60 boss. So he doesn't have any adds or anything. But he's more dangerous. And... Uh, he's more dangerous and... Um, he has a lot of HP, so he takes a while to kill. Uh, I'd say on on Dark Knight here, we're probably going to need at least 15 minutes to kill him. And as you can see, we've only got 18 minutes left. So it'll be uh, it'll be, it's going to be close. It's going to be close. Oh come on! Well, I guess I could at least get to check this treasure chest out. Not that I want to. Not that I want to. I wanted to go up. Open the passage. Open sesame. Oh, is this a mimic? Oh, okay. Well, that's welcome. I was going to use one of those. Okay. Well, this will be worthwhile. We might be okay. It might not come as close to the wires, I think. Although, obviously, the recording is going to stop, like, five minutes before the instance time's out. So, uh, hopefully we kill him before then, so I don't have to just come back next video being like, Well, I killed him. Oh, we got debuffs. Hopefully one of them's not... Uh... Okay. Well. That's worth a serenity anyway, so... Wish we had a fortune, but we don't. I am gonna use a safety pomander as well. Just so we don't have to worry about traps. Yeah. Dude, monster's got... 42,000... 40, almost 44,000. Like, their HP levels are getting cranked up. And uh, within the relatively near future, assuming we beat this floor set, you know, they're going to go up to like 50,000 next floor set. And then up to like 60,000 the next floor set. And up to 70,000. I think around 70,000 is where they're, they're pretty much stuck at. But I could be wrong. I, it's been a while. I just know each floor set, you know, basically... It's going to take slightly longer than the last. And uh, because we can skip this floor, I'm just going to try to kill as many enemies as possible. 
so that I can check out chests. Because anytime you do this, you want to hope that you can at least, um, you know, you can at least recoup some Pomanders. Uh, because, you know, Pomanders make or break you when you're solo. Wow, this is actually really good luck. Watch this one be a mimic. Oh, nuts. Okay, okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. I would go check out that last chest, but that would in entail me fighting those soul flares, and it might not, it might just be a mimic, so we're like solo on time, you know. Just wanna try to get this accomplished. See, here he is. He's got a he's got a different name, but it's the same dude, so. Slidecast, ooh. Slidecast, ooh. Slidecast, ooh. And we won't be able to stay in succubus form, really, in sort of milk fat. Uh, we want to get to our sustaining potions as quickly as possible. arms like that. See, he does a lot of damage. Like, if I wasn't on tank, I would be using a Steel Pomander. No question. On Red Mage, um, not every boss, but most of these bosses, there's no way you can take them without Steel. Like, you can see, like, even on tank, like, I should probably just pop a Steel, because uh, you know, the 20% for my tankiness, I just don't have the self-sustain, even with sustaining potions, to, to keep up with his damage amount. Now this is gonna knock him backwards. He's quite, he's quite the guy here. Now this fight's gonna rage on. To one of us falls. And it could be me. Looks like that's that's all the lead we're gonna get on his uh, on his HP with the uh, the lust. Lust Pomander doesn't stop being useful or anything. Um, it's just particularly useful for bosses, obviously. Uh, but just the amount of time you have to spend casting uh, to get the Vault Stacks on them uh, is, is very, you know, dangerous. This back up. I'm gonna arm up this one. And see, this is something Dark Knight wouldn't have been able to originally do. Uh, the, the knockback thing. Dark Knight, until uh, until now, until Shadowbringers, it never had knockback immunity at all. Uh, Warrior had knockback immunity with Home Gang. Paladin had knockback immunity with Tempered Will. And Dark Knight didn't have anything. The Gunbreaker didn't exist. And along came Shadowbringers, and they put in Arm Flick as a roll skill for tanks. It was a roll skill for melee. Uh, within um, Stormblood. Yeah, see how many sustaining potions we're using on the boss as well? Like. You know, uh, sometimes when you're doing a deep dive like this and you don't have enough sustaining potions, you have to just restart one of your files to get more sustaining potions. Uh, that's a thing. Me 
that easy, but though. Buckaroo, I will be killing you. I just don't know how close to the wire it's going to come down. I assume I'll kill him within the next three minutes, but I don't really know that for sure. I'm not really keeping track of how fast he's going down. Or like what percentage. See, every boss like this, though, when you're solo, even on Red Mage, every boss is going to come down to the wire like this. Unless you just have insane luck where, like, you just get a floor where there's, like, six Rage Pomanders in a box or something, so you kill the whole floor, and then you, you're full of, you know, you're full of Rage Pomanders for the next floor, and then the next floor is the same thing, and then the next floor actually adds the same thing. Then time it right. No. I guess my uh, Frank commander is gonna run out before my steel, which is which is okay. Like he's low enough now that uh, I'm pretty sure. Unless I like fall asleep at the keyboard or disconnect, um, that will get him. So. Oh. Timing for that sort of thing, for punch cancel, is pretty rough. Fight depending. Fight depending. Wish we'd get more direct hits. Or more crits, or both. More critical direct hits. That'll be welcome. You really don't want to get knocked into one of, of balls at this point. Even on tank, it would probably be fatal. Or close to fatal. Red Mage can sort of jimmy its way through uh, with a little bit less standing potions because you can keep your distance uh, somewhat, a little bit. You can't exactly kite because you're casting half the time. But, um, you know, you can... You, know, you can okay. Alright, we're gonna get him. I think we're gonna get him before the video cuts out. How about that? Three gold trim sacks. Oh yeah. And see, from here on down, there's uh, there's uh, apparently a, a couple duoing, I guess, or maybe that guy's soloing. That person appears to be in a party. 